small museum in Kew in southwest London houses something remarkable, the world's largest working Cornish beam engine. The museum was once a pumping station that was operated by the Grand Junction Waterworks Company. For over a century this site by the River Thames supplied water to much of West London. The engine was built in 1846 by Messrs Sandy, Carn and Vivian of the Copperhouse Foundry at Hale in Cornwall at a price of £6,360, nearly 11 million in today's money. It last worked in 1943. The trust which runs the museum returned the engine to steam in 1976. The size of an engine like this is usually measured by the internal diameter of the cylinder. This one is 90 inches across, or 7 feet 6 inches. The beam alone weighs 32 tons. When it was operational it would run at 9.5 strokes per minute. Now it runs at 6.5. It pumps 472 gallons per stroke. This is equivalent to between 4.5 and 6.5 million gallons a day depending on its speed. I calculate its output to be equivalent to about 270 horsepower. An even bigger engine stands next to this one. It has a 100 inch cylinder and pumped nearly 10 million gallons a day, but it's not currently in working order. A Cornish beam engine has no rotating parts. The piston tilts the beam and lifts a plunger attached to the other end. The plunger then drops back down under gravity, pumping water to where it needs to go. When the engine was operational, it would push the water up to a standpipe inside this tower. The standpipe exists to provide a constant pressure to feed into the water main, and also to give the engine a constant load to push against. If the engine was connected directly to the mains, the loss of pressure that would be caused by a burst pipe could damage it. Now the engine just pumps water into this buffer outside the engine house, from where it falls back to its source. The engine house itself is a Grade 1 listed building. It was initially built without a roof and then the engine's components were lowered into it with a crane. It has three storeys above ground plus a basement. The entire construction process would have taken about a year. This model kit in the museum shop gives you some idea of what the entire engine looks like. The cylinder is on the right and the plunger on the left. Once this amazing machine worked around the clock. Now it runs for half an hour on weekends and bank holidays. A little reminder of a bygone age. <laughs>